Hey guys, this is Cindy Utter with My Arts Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right, sitting here in my squeaky chair. One of these days, I really need to get a new chair. Anyways, um, I'm coming with to you guys today um, with another grab and glue journal that's complete. You know, I want to share these. I don't know if you guys want to keep seeing these. I mean, I do a lot of them. Um, but, you know, I'll share. If you don't want to watch it, just move on to the next video. Um, if you do want to watch it, check it out. This was, um, again, one of the small albums that I had made out of junk. It was everything from um, index cards to little pieces of paper to all kinds of stuff. So I just want to share with you. These are the really hard. That says... Um, I don't know, W-Y on it. This is those uh, index cards, the really hard index cards that I made the cover with. So here it is. Um, she believed she could, so she did. This was cut out of a piece of a um, scrapbook card stock paper. I'm not going to go through everything on, you know, what it is and what I did, but if you have any questions, let me know. Um, this was pleather paper that I was playing around with. It's deli paper. Um, that was actually kind of cool. You take a couple sheets and you glue it together. And then you do these different layers of paint. And I love the way it sounds. It's just a really cool paper. So anyways, I did a bunch of those a while back. Just some odds and ends. Um, I will grab my little mini uh, glue book and I just, you know, or my little mini drawers. And I just play piece of denim fabric that I sewed some paper on and this I have to tell you about this is so funny um Gina of course we all know Gina Aaron's one day we were chatting and she says I'm gonna throw these away I don't know what to do with them and I was like no you can't throw them away you gotta send them to me so they're actually like these little um you know how when you have a sheet of stickers labels and you take them off and you have the outside bits that's what these that's what this is <laughs> so i sent her no i was like look your trash turned into a tree trunk <laughs> but um it was just funny see another person's trash is someone's treasures <laughs> um it's just an index card i did some sewing on a couple tags it says being happy doesn't mean everything's perfect. It means you decide to see beyond the imperfections. I really like that. This um, stamp you can get at Blitzy. I absolutely love her. I think she is beautiful. And I think it was a Carabella, I think is the name of the, the company that makes her. Um, but yeah, that was fun. Little pieces of fabric. Um, I'll tell you, Jerry Bellini... Um, she's my inspiration when it comes to the fabric. She has got me into using a lot of fabric on everything. I just, I really enjoy um, adding that little bit of texture or that little piece of fabric to stuff. And it's just a lot of fun. This is a piece of wrapping paper, and you know what? Lots coming off. We are going to. Just make sure that stays down. I think a bird just hit my window. Hmm. That was weird. So, oh, these guys. This was actually on a, um, a children's game piece. It was a square, heavy, solid. And I didn't want to put that bulk in here, so I just took the top of it off and put that in there. I thought that was cute. This little ta um, fabric thing, handmade with love. Awesome. Just another day of being awesome. Eh, whatever it is, what it is. Of course, everybody recognizes this. This is a Dilusions um, with uh, Diane Reevely. Always believe in yourself. Shine. That's one of the stamps I have. I think this is a Unity stamp. Either Unity or Finnabar. I'm not positive. I want to say Unity. So it says Shine. Bits and pieces. <laughs> Love this set of stamps. Um, I did a review on these when I got them from a stamp show, and they're just so cool. 
so funny. This here, this ticket, um, a couple weekends ago I had to go to my parents for a barbecue and we stopped at a gas station on the way back and there was two of these tickets laying on the ground when I walked into the little store. Well, when I come out, I, I just, I had to pick them up. <laughs> So I picked him up. My husband just looks at me and shakes his head. He's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> so there they are. <laughs> There's one of them anyways. Um, again, this is a Dilusions. Um, where Diane Reevely stamps that. Got a little piece of lace here. Some ruler. Some um, drywall tape. A tag. Dilution stamp. Just fun. This is done with uh, Gina Aaron's. Her, one of her stamp sets. Um, she's got this individual petal, so I made this flower. Something different. That was on a water crown, watercolor background piece. This is one of those vellum um, tags. I just took this little guy and, and uh, glued him on there and just stuck down with a piece of washi. This is one of my art cards, is what I call them, where I take the packing paper and then all scraps and do it on both sides. That's what this is. This is an actual art card. But he belonged there. Unicorn, couple random tickets. Number six, no idea why. Book text in the background. Fun. Just a lot of fun. Don't know. It says for the eye and mum's the word. I don't know. It just, it went there. It was good. It says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. That's so true. So true. This, I think, was a piece of art that I cut out of a magazine. Somebody's art. I don't know the artist. I have no idea, but that's what that is. This I didn't do a whole lot to. And I think it was because I really like, first of all, that everything's upside down. All the letters are upside down. And I kind of wanted that to show. So I thought, you know, I want to leave that. This is um, from a arrow swap that we did years ago. Um, and this is a little girl, a stamp that I had. I don't know if I still have her. But um, my granddaughter had colored her. And so I just went in and squiggle colored the flowers that were here. And I just wanted to leave that as is because that's that's just really cute. I love the way she did that. One good friend is better than ten bad ones. They come from a nine-year-old. I agree with that. This is just some leftover embossing something I had done. Um, just on one of my very first backgrounds. Just... It is. It is. This is a tag that someone had sent me in a tag swap years ago. Um, and it says, sometimes the most beautiful people are beautifully broken. So, and then I had these, so I put those on there. And then we have a shoe. Just randomness. This came from my dear friend, Barb Clark. My boot. See, some of these I used um, just a real light glue on. I was sitting at, on my recliner and I didn't have all my stuff with me, so I just kind of tacked them down. And then the back. There you go. Another one done. Another one bites the dust. Okay. Anyway, so I hope you guys have enjoyed that. And, you know, please let me know um, in the comments. Do you want to keep seeing these? Because I do these all the time. All the time. Um, I actually have a shelf full of them. To me, they're just very relaxing. They're fun to do. Uh, I really enjoy using up bits and pieces and goodies and just making something out of them. So, like I said, leave a comment below, okay? I'd, I'd really like, I'm, I'd really appreciate it. I want to know if you still want to see these. Um, as always, have fun, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.